can see that I'm using this paddle that I got from uh, Badger Paddles. They custom made this nice, beautiful cherry paddle with my logo engraved on it. I went um, to, I met uh, up with Joe down at Swift, Swift uh, Canoe and Kayak, and uh, Mike was there. That's where they, he sells a lot of the paddles. So he was there and uh, we got to talking about not only this paddle that he made me, but also uh, a paddle that his wife made me years ago. Okay, so I'm here now with Mike from uh, Badger Paddles and we're in the Swift um, Outdoor, what do they call this? Swift Outdoor Center. Outdoor yeah. Center, yeah. So yeah. we're in Gravenhurst, right on the Highway 11 if you're ever heading, heading up north toward, between say Aurelia and North Bay. So stop in here if you are interested in seeing any of the canoes and you're been watching me paddle this canoe for the last couple of trips this year and I'm using this awesome paddle that Mike made you made me with the uh, with my logo on it so you can find Mike here quite often and the display of his paddle so what's pretty cool if you've been following along and seeing the interior shots of the cabin there's a paddle hanging on this center post on the king post and didn't know this at the time but ironically it was made back uh, in the mid 90s and given to my wife and I as a wedding gift by Mike's wife, now wife, and I don't even, you probably didn't even know her then, did you? No, I probably met her like right, if you said around 96, you mm -hmm. said? Yeah. I, I, no, I hadn't quite met her yet, I don't think. Yeah, so yeah. That, that's yeah. cool, it's a complete <laughs> coincidence. <laughs> yeah. So if you, uh, I wanted to ask Mike about the, that experience or, or uh, the history of the paddle and, and uh, how he met Fiona and how that kind of ties into the two paddles that I'm currently using. So you met her then shortly after yeah, that? Like shortly, I think it was probably like 97 yeah. and I was working for Swift because I've worked on and off for Swift for like a long time, over 20 years. Oh, really? Yeah. And uh, she was, yeah, she was, uh, there was this like hot girl selling paddles in the, uh, in, uh, in the Swift booth at the, at the sportsman show. So we hung out a couple times there and then she joined us. We were running around doing like, uh, outdoor tour trade shows at Guelph Lake and that sort oh, of yeah. thing and she joined the crew and we okay. we've we got together during that we've been together ever since wow yeah that's cool yeah so bad so her family had a, a furniture yeah so Badger and Son furniture refinishers okay. so that's where Badger paddles came okay. from so right around the time we started in 2009 officially as a business okay so this is our 10th year this year. Okay. Yeah, and uh, that's right around the time my father-in-law was uh, wrapping up his furniture refinishing business. And he was the third generation in that business. So Badger actually is a family name on Fiona's side. Okay. So he was pretty happy that we carried on his woodworking business and we kind of changed it into something slightly different. But it's like even our our finishing process all came from him, oh, yeah. part of that business. Yeah. So yeah. So it's all paddles now. It's it's all paddles, yeah. 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 So this is a, a cherry wood paddle and, and like like I said the finish is beautiful on it. And it came with a sock, I shall show it to you back at the cabin with the uh, sock to protect it because it really is like a piece of furniture. It's an heirloom if you take care of it. So yeah. and then it feels like the oil finish, um, there's like a little bit of maintenance involved, but it's super easy to do mm -hmm. and it feels good in your hands. Like yeah. you don't get the it's not that plasticky finish between the wood and your hands that gives you blisters and peels That's, yeah. and stuff. So yeah. if you see a typical, well, I'm not going to show you. want to show that? Bro? Well, there's, like I have, uh, these are tulip wood paddles here. Okay. These are mine too, and it's soft wood, so you have yeah. to varnish them. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the difference. So if you go to like Canadian Tire here in Canada or just a, you know, a sporting goods store and get a typical paddle, they're often made of inferior wood, so they have to put a protection or a finish on them that's not great on the hands, and it can break down, it has to be maintained as well. So that's the difference between a nice piece of hardwood like that and a piece of softwood. Yeah, and I, I do ash and some walnut. That's a walnut paddle there. Yeah, that's beautiful. But cherry is, like 90% of the paddles are cherry. It, it, uh, it kind of, you can even tell the paddles here, like this is a, fairly new paddle it's not that red yet this paddle's been oh, yeah. probably was built about a year ago and they get more red over time mm -hmm. it's pretty light and tough and holds up well and it really works well with the oil so yeah i like cherry yeah it's yeah. beautiful wood for yeah. sure it is quite uh, quite stiff yeah and, and strong yeah a little bit more weight like um you saw them on my trip a couple weeks ago or last month i went really really lightweight with everything so i was carrying like carbon and cedar 
paddle, which the cedar is extremely light, but not durable at all. Like that handle was getting pitted just from my hand use or yeah. touching it off anything. Yeah. So it became quite uncomfortable. These things will last forever and they're rock solid. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. So nice to hear the backstory of, uh, of uh, this paddle that I've had actually in my family for 23 years now. And I had no backstory to it in, until I met Mike or I happened to look at the signature, her signature on it, I guess. My wife looked it up. I was gonna ask how you figured that yeah, out. That's, yeah, that's, I think, how she found that and yeah. kind of did, did some searching on Facebook. That's the thing, yeah. everybody's visible now. Yeah. And made that link, so yeah, pretty cool to tie them together. So, like I said, I'm back out on the water today. We're gonna to paddle around, or tomorrow, and do some fishing and uh, looking forward to using this all day. So thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you right on the water next time. Take care. Lots of life here, but it's going to be obvious. It's a little marshy spot.